Now, suppose we take x is equal to 1 now, because till now what we have taken any x between, because whenever we are defining a function uh, on the domain is r, you have to define the function for uh, minus infinity to plus infinity of any value. So, here you can see that we have first we consider x is between minus infinity to 0. Why you are considering like that? Because there is kind of simplicity, uh, so there is some kind of pattern of this function. So, minus infinity to 0, this function is actually uh, 0. So, that is why we find it. Whenever x is between uh, 0 to 1, x is greater than equal to 0 less than 1, then this function of this value is constant, it is 1 by 8. Now, we will take uh, greater than uh, one, uh, equal to 1. So, equal to 1, whenever x is equal to 1, then uh, we want to find f of x, f of 1, f of x 1 we want to find. This is nothing but probably that x less than equal to 1. So, for this we have to first find x, what is x less than equal to 1. So, x is less than equal to 1 is nothing but all s belongs to uh, this s 1 such that x of s less than equal to 1. Now, what are because just remember that R x is range of this random variable 0, 1, 2 and 3 and uh, uh, those things. Uh, so, x of number of head actually nothing but 3, x of head, head, tail nothing but 2 like this, x of tail, tail, head it is nothing but 1, x of tail, tail, tail it is nothing but 0. So, this is the definition of the random variable. So, now it is less than equal to 1. So, we are considering all the value taking less than equal to 1. So, that means this random variable can take value 1 or it can take value 0, only two value it can uh, it satisfying this inequality. So, 0 and 1. So, what are those values it can take 0? Zero? 0 is nothing but t, t, t. So, then 1 corresponds to uh, only one head. So, this is nothing but tail, tail, head, then tail head tail then head tail tail. So, these are the four values it can satisfy this relation. So, there are four equally likely. So, then what is the probability now? So, then x less than equal to 1 is nothing but probability of this event. So, this event contains four points and so uh, I think uh, this is fine. So, out of eight possible way four equally likely. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2. Hence, this probability will be 1 by 2. So, not only that if you consider x is any value greater than 1, suppose it is 1.8 or 1.5 on any value. So, x is belongs to suppose greater than equal to 1 less than sorry one minute yeah x is greater than equal to 1 less than 2 any value you take x is 1.8 suppose. Then what is f of x 1.8? So, what is f of x 1.8? So, this is nothing but probability that x less than equal to 1.8. So, then we have to find what is this set x less than equal to 1.8. So, this is nothing but all s belongs to s 1 satisfying the relationship x of s is less than equal to 1.8. So, that what are the values it satisfying this relation? So, uh, it can less than equal to 1.8 because it is taking the uh, only integer value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here you can see that uh, because it can take only 0 and 1 satisfying this relationship. So, 0 means t, t, t and 1 means t head, head tail t, tail tail head and head tail tail. So, these are the 4 values. So, that is why probability of x less than equal to 1.8 is nothing but again 4 by 8, 1 by 2. So, this is constant in this interval. So, that is why f of x, x it is equal to 1 by 2 for whenever x is greater than equal to 1 less than 2. So, that is what we found here in this. So, similarly you can show that whenever x is in this interval, suppose x is uh, bet, better than a, a equal to 2 less than 3. So, you take any value. So, inside inside the interval, suppose x is nothing but uh, 2.3. So, in this interval. So, then what will be the value f of x 2.3? So, this is nothing but probably that x less than equal to 2.3. So, now we have to find what is this set. So, x less than equal to 2.3 means this is nothing but all s belongs to s 1 such that x of s less than equal to 2.3. So, what are those value it is satisfying because this random variable take the value of 0, 1, 2, 3. So, 0, 1 and 2 all actually belongs to this set. So, 0 means 0 head t t t 
one means one head one head tail 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 head tail and tail tail head and then uh, basically uh, see you can see that whatever the previous observation here we are adding uh, more observation that is why it is called the cumulative distribution function. So, cumulatively we are uh, so it is we are adding sequentially. So, now uh, then then we have to consider the two head also because it is satisfying x is equal to 2 also it is less than equal to 2.3. So, two head will be nothing but head head tail then uh, tail head head then head uh, tail head so, tail head head. So, tail tail head. So, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 points are equally likely point. Hence, pro f of x uh, 2.3 is nothing but uh, 2.3 is nothing but uh, probability that x less than equal to 2.3. So, here 7 points are there. So, that is why uh, uh, equally likely point 7 by total possible way it can come 8 out of that 7 uh, that it, it, it can come 7 by 8. So, that is why uh, this probability is 7 by 8. So, uh, we consider any point here. So, that is why for any uh, x uh, belongs to or we can just mention it for x whenever x is greater than or equal to 2 less than 3. So, then f of x x nothing but because any point we took that it is nothing but 7 by 8. So, now the uh, another uh, because only uh, 0, 1, 2 and 3 also we have to consider. So, what is the whenever x is greater than or equal to 3 less than uh, infinitive any any value between this interval because now we understand the pattern. So, then the remaining interval only this interval. So, let us consider x is equal to some 4. So, then what is uh, or 4.5 any number which is satisfying this. So, then what will be the f of x 4.5? So, f of x 4.5 will be uh, probability that x less than equal to 4.5. So, now we have to first find what is uh, denoted by x less than equal to 4.5, it is the event. So, all s belongs to s 1 such that x of s less than equal to oh, sorry 4.5. Now, x is the uh, range is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, that is why all uh, actually s satisfying this relationship. So, that it is nothing but whole set s 1 because uh, be, because it is it is it contain all the point uh, all the uh, all the it is those those are here and not only that the additional head 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 also 3 x is equal to 3 also it will come. So, because it is it contains so basically head 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 all points are uh, uh, there. So, that is why then what will be the probability that x is less than equal to 0 0.5. So, let us write in the next page. So, so f of uh, x, uh, sorry, 4.5. So, f of x, 4.5. f of x, 4.5 means probability that x is less than equal to 4.5. So then. Uh, because it is it contains all the points, so it possible way by actually it is a certain event it is equal to 1. So, uh, we consider it is a one point in this interval x is greater. So, hence uh, for uh, x greater than equal to 3 less than infinitive f of x is nothing but 1. So, then then we now we can write down the function by summary. Uh, so, summarize these things. So, basically you can see that so, f of x is uh, we have started from here. So, here see that it is 0 whenever it is inside this interval. So, f of x x is equal to 0 whenever x is uh, less than 0 greater than minus infinity. Then what is the value? Then next uh, this value is nothing but uh, whenever x is between 1 and 2. So, then uh, no, 0 to 1. So, whenever x is between 0 to 1. So, here actually this is the uh, I think this is here. So, x is between 0 to 1 then in that case this value is 1 by, 1 by 8. So, then x is between greater than equal to 0 less than 1 this is nothing but 1 by 8. So, then x is greater than equal to 1 less than 2. So, then this value is here it is mentioned whenever x is so then this value is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 then whenever x is greater than equal to 2 less than 3. So, then here we have consider. So, this value is 7 by 8. So, this is nothing but 7 by 8. So, then whenever x is uh, here just we have shown it greater than 3 less than infinitive. So, then 
this value is equal to 1. So, then we found the cumulative distribution function associated with this random variable. So, now we just want to show graphically represent this function graphically. Suppose this is uh, this is 0, then 1, this is 2, uh, 3, 4, uh, 5 like this, minus 1, minus 2 like this. So, now just I want to uh, make this, this is suppose 1 by 4, this is 2 by 4, 1 by 2, this is 3 by 4, this is 4 by 4, 1 minute. Uh, I just did the mistake, ok, 1 minute. Just I want to divide it. Okay. So this is I just want to seven by one by sorry. So this is nothing but. So this is nothing but one by eight. This is nothing but two by eight. Three by eight. This is four by eight means one by two this is 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 7 by 8, this is 1, this is the 1, so then just, so now because of function we want to, so this is f x x we want to find, at up to x this function is 0 only, this is 0, at 0 this is nothing but what is the value, 1 by 8, at 0 it is nothing but 1 by 8, at 1 this become 1 by 2, at 1 it is become 1 by 2, up to 2 it is there, then at 2 this become uh, 7 by 8, so this is nothing but 7 by 8, so this is, then at 3 this is nothing but 1, so this function is nothing but 1. So, you can see that it has uh, left discontinuity. So, basically uh, if you take at 0 f x 0 minus, so this is nothing but limit uh, suppose f of x, x minus h, h goes to 0. So, because it is uh, sorry this is 0 minus h, uh, h goes to 0. So, if you take the left limit this is nothing but 0 but at 0 f x of 0 this is nothing but 1 by 8. So, which is uh, not equal to f x of 0 minus. So, similarly you can show that f x of 1 minus is actually 1 by 8 which is not equal to uh, 1 by 2 which is actually f x of 1. So, at every point where there is a probability it has some left discontinuity, but it is not uh, uh, it is it is right continuous always. So, some of the properties of the uh, cumulative distribution function we will know now. So, this is uh, the cumulative distribution function, I hope you have understood it. Some of the properties like because it is a probability, uh, it will be always between 0 to 1 and uh, we can show that whenever it is a non-decreasing function. So, you can see here also, it may be constant but it will always increase, it will not decrease. So, non-decreasing function it is easy to prove. So, uh, so what is the property? So, if uh, x 1 is less than x 2 to real number, then f of x x 1 is less than equal to f of x x 2. So, in general we can prove. So, uh, because what is uh, x f of x 1, f x of x 1 is nothing but probability of less x less than equal to x 1. So, what is f of x x 2? f of x x 2 is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x 2. So, first we will find out what is the event correspond to that. x less than equal to x 1 is nothing but uh, this event is nothing but all s belongs to the sample space such that x of s is less than equal to x x 1 and x less than equal to x 2 what is this event? So, this event is nothing but all s belongs to s such that x of s is less than equal to x 2. Now, uh, if x 1 is uh, less than x 2, then you can see that uh, all x s we are satisfying this. So, if and then, then s belongs to uh, this set, this set s belongs to s uh, uh, such that satisfying this lesson x 
is less than equal to x1 implies x s e will be less than equal to x2 because x1 is less than x2. So, all s belongs to hence, hence all s, s belongs to this set x less than equal to x1 that means this set implies that s belongs to uh, if s belongs to this set then s belongs to uh, s belongs to x less than equal to x2 because this set this is also satisfying because x1 is less than x2 if this satisfy this relation so then this must satisfy this relation also so which implies this set actually subset of this set and we have already proved that if uh, uh, a is subset of b then probability of a is less than equal to probability of b so which implies probability that x less than equal to x1 less than equal to probability of x less than equal to x2. So, which implies f of x x1 is less than equal to f of x x2. So, that is why it is a non-decreasing function. So, that uh, this example also it shows that it is a non-decreasing function. Now, uh, f of x goes to infinity if f of x this is equal to equal to 1. So, just we will we'll not prove uh, in uh, just we will give some kind of intuition how it can be proved. So, basically uh, x is a actually a uh, x is a uh, random variable it is a measurable function s to r basically it is taking for all values r. Now, uh, what is f of x x? f of x x is that probably that x less than equal to x. So, x less than equal to x we have just denote that all this ok. x less than equal to x this is nothing but all s belongs to s such that x x less than equal to x. Now, if you take limit uh, limit as x goes to infinity then limit if you consider this set what will be this, this set limit x goes to infinity this set will be all the limit will take limit x goes to infinity all s belongs to s such that x s less than equal to x. Now, if you consider x less than equal to infinity because x is actually nothing but a function from, from s to r it will it will satisfy it will be nothing but after uh, whenever x will be very large x goes to infinity it will satisfy all s by the all s. So, that is the intuition here. So, it become the certain even s. So, in that case limit x goes to infinity probability of x less than equal to x this is nothing but probability of s which is equal to 1. So, it is not a rigorous proof it is just a intuition only why it will be 1. So, that is why this is nothing but so this is actually coming from so this is this is the pro limit uh, x goes to infinity f of x x. So, this is the probability of x equal to limit x goes to infinity probability x less equal to x it is nothing but the certain level less. So, similar intuition it will work for this case also whenever x goes to minus infinity. So, whenever uh, x goes to minus infinity here limit x goes to minus infinity x less than equal to x. Now, because uh, range of x is a subset of a real number. So, it is a uh, real number always. So, limit uh, x goes to infinity uh, minus infinity uh, all s such that x is uh, satisfying uh, x less than equal to. So, uh, uh, x is always a real number. So, now if you x goes to minus infinity it will be uh, after some time. So, basically the intuition is that uh, no s uh, will satisfy x is less than equal to x whenever x is goes to minus infinity. So, it will be becoming a null set. So, in that case limit x goes to minus infinity f of x will be uh, probability of null set this is equal to 0. But it is not the exact proof we are not going through in details rigorously it is just a uh, intuition just we are providing here. So, how uh, probability of x goes to infinity f of x should be 1 and whenever x goes to minus infinity f of x should be equal to 0. And also we have seen from the example that uh, we are not going to prove all these details. So, it will be a right continuous, but it may be a left dis discontinuous because uh, we are providing uh, we are taking this definition is f of x is like this. So, uh, on, on there may be possibility of left discontinuity, but it is it will be always right discontinuous uh, right right continuous always from the right it will be f of x a plus will be equal to f of x a for all a belongs to the real number. So, that will be right continuous. So, these are the some of the properties of the cumulative distribution function. So, uh, in this 
case also we can see that it is always right continuous, but there may be some left, left side there may be some discontinuity. So, these are the some properties of the cumulative distribution function. So, here in this example find the distribution function and case the distribution function of x. So, that same example actually we discussed. So, it is the probability that uh, minus uh, uh, so what are the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then uh, this probability you have already computed uh, at x equal to 0, 1 by 8. So, this is the step function we have also drawn in this example. So, here we have also shown that the same thing it is given here. So, uh, that we completed uh, the uh, uh, discussion of cumulative distribution function uh, of a random variable x. Uh, hope you have understood it or you can go through again or uh, you can have some questions then we can again discuss. So, now uh, this uh, most of the cases we discuss the random variable as a uh, taking the only integer values. So, some of the finite integer values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So, these are very simple uh, to understand that is why we discussed initially, but uh, if you consider we have already uh, told that uh, some of the random experiment the sample space may be infinite. So, it may be in uncountable infinite. For example, if you consider uh, lifetime of a electronic goods. So, in that case the uh, sample space will be 0 to infinity and in that case uh, uh, how we will uh, define the random variable or how uh, you will dis discuss the distribution function. So, that case we say that it is like a continuous uh, because we are taking a range of x is uh, continuous. So, uh, in that case we will discuss that uh, how we can classify the random variable uh, with respect to their some of the characteristics whether characteristic of the distribution function it may be continuous it can may be differentiable or it can may be not differentiable or uh, it may be lo looks like staircase function or it may be uh, step function that is stair phase function. So, uh, based on the uh, based on the nature of the random variable we can classify the random variable into uh, two part one is called discrete random variable and another is called continuous random variable. So, in the next part we will discuss uh, the uh, different uh, types of random variable discrete random variable continuous random variable and uh, how we can uh, analyze the data uh, with respect to discrete random variable continuous random variable how you can find the probabilities that we will discuss in the next part. So, we have learned the distribution function cumulative distribution function f of x corresponding to the uh, a random variable corresponding to a random variable associated with a, with a random experiment. So, that we have already uh, discussed here. Now, some example also we have discussed. Now, based on the uh, if you can uh, see the distribution function here. So, here this distribution function is not continuous it has a left discontinuity here. So, that we have already checked that left discontinuity and it looks like a staircase function. So, sometimes some of the examples will show that. So, this distribution functions uh, may be continuous also uh, or uh, range of the random variable here range of the random variable is nothing but uh, only discrete 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, uh, some of the random variable suppose if you are considering a random variable you are throwing a dart uh, like a uh, on a there is a suppose a uh, there there is a uh, target and you want to so some we uh, giving some uh, um, uh, we are throwing this uh, some uh, dart here in the target and this uh, we but uh, because uh, we are not exactly accurate so that's why uh, this is several places it, it is actually falling so now we just want to check that what is the distance from the center it is coming. So, distance. So, distance if you take this distance and then it will be this distance may be may be if you are accurate exactly then it may be 0 otherwise it may be 0 to some value. So, this value suppose because this is the total uh, radius r suppose this is radius r. So, maximum value may be r and then it is it will be any real number here. So, it, it is it, so that is why if you define the random variable is nothing but the distance from the center it is uh, actually this target is falling. So, then this uh, this is this distance actually it will be any real number. So, in that case it is a continuous this random variable will be continuous. So, 
Based on this distribution function, we uh, define this random variable is categorized, uh, classified into one is called uh, discrete random variable. So, discrete random variable and uh, discrete random variable and uh, other random variable we say that continuous random variable. So, first, first we will discuss what is discrete random variable. So, discrete random random variable is that uh, whenever if you see the CDF function cumulative distribution function values taking uh, changes values only in jumps. So, here in this example, so that is why we first discuss this example. This this uh, this, uh, this random uh, this distribution function you can see that it is actually uh, constant up to 0 it is 0 at 0 it the value changes. So, this is 1 by 8 and then it is constant again up to 1 then from 1 this value is 1 by 2 it is constant again and from uh, then 2 it is again constant 7 by 8. So, it is like a staircase. So, that is why it is written like whenever this distribution function affects changes values in jumps at most countable number of them. So, this range of random variable may be countable also. So, uh, infinite also, but it be it will be countable uh, infinite each constant between the jump that is f x x is a stair phase function then x is called a discrete random variable. So, alternatively x is discrete random variable only if its range contains a finite or countably infinite number of points. So, infinite number of point it can take, but it may be countable, it has to be countably infinite number of points. So, uh, here what we found that, so you can uh, what, so in, in this example you can see that uh, if you uh, find this uh, distribution function f of x, f of x x, sorry, f of x x, this is actually it is equal to 0 when bar x is uh, greater less than 0 greater than minus infinity it is nothing but 1 by 8 when bar uh, x is less than equal to 0 greater than 1 minute. So, this is greater than equal to 0 x is greater than equal to 0 less than 1 it is 1 by 2 when bar x is uh, greater than equal to 1 less than uh, less than 2 and when bar it is 7 by 8 whenever x is greater than equal to 2 less than 3 it is equal to 1 whenever x is greater than equal to 3 less than infinity this is the distribution function ok. So, basically you can see that uh, this uh, this function changes as a at a jump at some of the points. So, basically if you compute uh, suppose f of what is f of 0 minus f of 0 minus is nothing but uh, 0. So, but this is not equal to f of x 0, f of x 0 is nothing but equal to 1 by 8 which is 1 by 8. Now, what is the difference f of x 0 minus f of x 0 minus what is this difference? So, this difference is nothing but 1 by 8. So, similarly we can find what is the difference this is the jump actually uh, this this is f of x 1 minus f of x 1 minus. So, f of x 1 is nothing but at x equal to 1 if you put it is 1 by 2 f of x 1 by uh, x 1, 1 minus is nothing but 1 by 2 minus f of x 1 minus is nothing but 1 by 8. So, this is nothing but so how it is coming. So, if you take the limit uh, h goes to 0 f of x 1 minus of h. So, h is uh, positive number 10 to 0 a, a 1 minus h. So, 1 minus h whenever it is a negative number uh, less than 1 number this value is always uh, 1 by 8. So, that is why if you take the limit it is nothing but 1 by 8. So, this 1 by 8 coming. So, then what is this difference? So, this is nothing but uh, 4 by 8. So, this is nothing but 3 by 8. So, similarly you can see that f of x uh, 2 minus f of x 2 minus. So, this is left limit f of x 2 minus f of x 2. So, this is nothing but f of x 2 is uh, f of x 2 is 7 by 8 minus f of x 2 minus is 1 by 2. So, this is uh, this is uh, uh, 4 by 8 1 by 2. So, this is nothing but again 3 by 8 no sorry 
uh, this is again 3 by 8. So, now what is f of x the 3 minus f of x 3 minus. So, this is nothing but this is 1 minus this is 7 by 8. So, this is nothing but 1 by 8. So, now just I want to we want to know what are those values actually this is the jump actually this is nothing but here what we, when we draw. So, basically this is the jump here this is 1 by 8 this is 3 by 8 this is 3 by 8 and this is nothing but again 1 by 8. So, these are the values. Now, we want to find uh, what are the probabilities actually at that point because see that this jump occurring in that where this range it is taking the values range is 0 1 2 3.